Thai Rath newspaper reports that the owner of a hostel where a 19-year-old British girl was staying when she claimed that she was raped on Koh Tao does not believe the woman's claims. British newspapers have made a meal of the story, only reported several weeks after the act is supposed to have occurred. The morning after the night before, the woman was offered support and help with hospital and police when she first made the claim. But according to the hotelier, she declined, saying that she wanted to go to Koh Phang Ngan and not miss a full moon party there. Thai Dutch soap actress Amy Jacobs has escaped a jail term for her drug use. She got three months suspended this week. Her boyfriend wasn't so lucky. As a dealer, he was sentenced to 25 years plus in jail. They were nabbed last year after one of her boyfriend's customers was caught in possession of drugs and told police where he bought them. No word on whether she'll wait for him or move on with her life. On Koh Chang, a British tourist is being fated after helping out with local rescue teams searching for three children who'd gone out in the waves despite warnings that the ocean was dangerous. The 29-year-old is an experienced search and rescue swimmer and was asked to help in the 16-hour search that involved wading and swimming in dangerous waters. One of the children survived. Sadly, the other two drowned. There may be a spanner in the works for plans to raise fines for driving without a license. It seems that the Land Transport Act revision has the support of the Deputy Prime Minister, but maybe not the Prime Minister himself. General Prayut was quoted in Bangkok media as saying that he isn't sold on the idea. It seems that after discussion, the planned amendments need to be revised before getting approval. A Chiang Mai call girl is being sought by police there. It seems that her trick is to accompany Westerners with the promise of fun and then drug them before relieving them of their valuables. Problem is, she isn't a chemist. One of her dates died after being overdosed. Another managed to recover and share his sorry tale. When a woman living in Ang Tong stopped looking after her four children and ignored her husband, he put it down to her addiction to a new smartphone he'd just bought for her. Then, smiling and laughing, but at the small screen, led to arguments as he was convinced that she was chatting to other men. Finally, he shot her dead in the back as she played. Facebookers, beware. And with the Met Office promising highs today of around 31, dropping down to 29, that is the local and national news from Fabulous 103 FM, keeping you in touch with Thailand and, of course, Patia, the city of fun.